What's going on, Total Miner fans? This is Wall the Winds back and back again for. Can't believe we're already on episode seven. But uh, I'm standing here in a world by Full Metal, known as Anime Pixel. Um, it's one of the best pixel art worlds I have ever seen. A uh, whole lot of watermelons, as uh, you can see right in front of us, and a vast array of pixel art stuff that I don't think you guys have ever seen before. This is quite possibly the best map. I've seen on Total Miner to date. So with no further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, glad you could make it. Checking out one of the best worlds. I mean, I'm not even lying. One of the best worlds I have ever seen. I gotta thank you, Full Metal. Um, I'm just taking a look here at some of the first pieces of work you have. And I've gotta ask you, what the hell is going on in this Pikachu picture here? Like, what's going on to the bottom Pikachu? Uh, the one that's got its mouth open. Like, this is kind of scary. It, it depends on your frame of mind. Uh, it could be a party, because, you know, you got one with the balloons, but there's also a lot of weird fetishes out there, so could be something to do with that. Alright, alright. Um, yeah. So what really inspired you to make this map? Because, I mean, you got a lot of uh, old school characters, you got a bunch of stuff that's awesome going on here. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you again, but... Alright, now we got we have Watermelon Girl, and I mean, I think she's the main attraction of this map. Uh, see what I did there, but, um... She's got three watermelons and two hands. So how does that work? Could you explain? I'm, I think she's using her elbows and her joints to support the other two. Yeah, to yeah. support the weight of said watermelons. I, I get where you're coming from. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this might just end up going to like PG-13, but... <laughs> What? No, this is my favorite part of the map, and I think you outlined it as yours as well. Your link here, like this, this is amazing. Yeah. How did you? How long did it take you to build this one thing? I mean, how do you even do this? I think the link took seven hours. Yeah, it took me seven hours to make it. And another thing is that it took me and my friend to make it, and he did the outline, and I did the shading. And seeing that most pixel art is done with him, with like following an image, but I couldn't follow the image for the shield and the sword, so I ended up just making the free hander and the hilt. But it turned out pretty good. I managed to learn a few colours as well with the green, because I didn't notice that there was a cyclonic colour thing. No, nope. cyclonic. I'm I'm just taking a look yeah. here at the side of the map. These characters are pretty interesting, and I mean one of my favourites, you know, the Nine Cat. Oh <laughs> god, the Yogg's cast here. <laughs> um, now that's a pretty sweet Nine Cat. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen someone build it, you know, in the way it should be. But uh, I gotta congratulate you on that one. Here we're heading <laughs> to the high school. Of the dead, um, Mass Effect. I mean, there's some really brilliant stuff here. Like, I don't usually see pixel art where you have so many projects that are coming together. So, what I want to, um, what I want to ask is, where did you come up with the ideas for most of these pixel art projects? Well, I know the name of pretty much everything on the map, and so do my two co-hosts, so it's mainly things that we wanted to. At the beginning, I didn't even want to make another pixel art map, because, you know, after our Pokemon pixel art map, we kind of thought that it was going to be done for pixel art for a while, but we got really good reviews on it, and it kind of convinced us to make another map for people. And uh, it turned out really well. People wanted more, and we gave them a full map full of it. Ten, uh, it's 11 megabytes. No, I mean, for sure, I'm looking at Grand Theft Auto 4, Michael Jackson, you know, a few things that a lot of people are, can relate to here. Um, oh, wow, I mean, this is almost as good as Watermelon Girl over here. Um, whoa, okay. Um, damn, damn. Anyways, I want to head to the question of the day, guys. I hope this map uh, kind of influences it, but uh, what is your favorite map type? And I mean... Because there, there are challenge maps, there are pixel art maps, there are adventure maps, RPG maps, uh, survival maps, skyblock. What what do you like in a map? What do you find to be the key part? Uh, I maybe it's just pixel art now. After you've seen this, I'm loving the. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like how you layer it too. You know, you've got some stuff on the the just in the walls here. Look at that Left for Dead. That's pretty epic. I'm um, just looking at it right now. Uh, and under we got all these swords here. <laughs> oh my gosh! When does it end? I mean, I'm thinking this is one. Got to be one of my favorite maps, um, for sure that I've seen. Now, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just amazing. Uh, I wanted to bring up another kind of discussion topic, and that is, 
why are British people so good at making Total Miner maps? Because, oh, uh, you know, sorry, American guys. I mean, I'm Canadian, so I guess I kind of fit in there, eh? But, um, why are they so good at it, you know? Why, why, tell me your secret. Because, I mean, the British just make too many good maps. So all those tea I and think crumpets? it's the accent. I thought it was the tea. I, you know, it might be the crumpet. You know, it might be the tea because we have a lot of sugar in the tea, and you know, the sugar just makes us keep up for a long time. You know, the like caffeine. I spent like nine hours. Yeah, I spent nine hours on one of the projects on this map, and you know, I have to get through a lot of cup of teas on that. Uh, you, you know, I actually have a cup of tea now. Oh, waiting you for you. I have. Yeah, I love my sugar with cup of teas. Any crumpets? Nah, no crumpets today. Right, I'm just spinning in on the troll face man, and he looks epic, just to say. Uh, always love a good <laughs> troll. We got our anonymous kind of mask there. Damn. Damn. Um, yeah, I mean, this world... Eh, I'm also surprised the uh, it's loading speed right now at 11.6 megabytes. It's really looking good. You made some efficient use here. Uh, I also like what you did here on the side, if you can see that. Um... I have characters mostly lined up on the side. I think that's pretty sweet. Really sweet. But, uh, yeah, something that sets this thing apart. I don't even think I need to answer that. Uh, what? I've never seen a Pixar world this good. Uh, you know, hey, hey kid, I'm not a cow. What the? Can you explain this one for me? <laughs> well, it's not a cow. And I don't think the baby knows it. No, I. So. Uh... Yeah, I guess it's not another. And he, he does look very surprised, but I don't know why. Yeah, this is just... It's getting scary, let's just say that. Um, and fly away. Anyways, I'm just flying out here, doing a brief final overlook of the map, letting some things load in. But uh, from Watermelon Girl to Link to Michael Jackson and Grand Theft Auto 4 to the troll face... Stained glass, damn it, this world is amazing. Uh, I gotta thank you once again here, Full Metal. You know, it's clerical on the forums. You have actually have a YouTube channel where you go into this in depth for about 20 minutes. So if you guys want to check that out, we're gonna have a link in the description for you to go visit that. If you think you have a world, I don't want to say the top's this, but you know, a really awesome world, uh, feel free to leave a comment below with your gamer tag and a brief description of that world to, um, let me see it, and I could come give it a review. Also, if you already don't have it, Total Miner is available on the game marketplace under the indie game section for only 240 Microsoft points. So, why don't you guys pick it up today? Very great addition into your game collection. Uh, thanks again, Full Metal, for letting me check out the world. We're going to be back with Episode 8 coming next week on my channel and the official Total Miner channel. Until then, I'm going to leave you with the outro... And oh so beautiful watermelon girl. Peace.